Hi everyone! The contour of the first fugue subject from Gidelge's treatise essentially consists of an embellished descent between the first and third degrees of F minor, which includes both forms of that key's submediant note. Harmonically, the subject may be heard as follows, with the three notes which move chromatically potentially being harmonized in several ways, which I'll discuss later. While the subject doesn't lend itself to stretto, its final descent does imply the root note and 7th degrees of F minor's dominant 7th chord moving to 1st inversion tonic harmony, which may support a real answer beginning on the note G. The contour of the real answer outlines both an embellished descent between the 5th and lowered 7th degrees of F minor and a descent between the 1st and 3rd degrees of C minor. The answer's contour, together with the accompanying part, also may be heard either in the tonic or the dominant keys, with the penultimate G dominant 7th chord sounding either as a secondary dominant to the dominant of F minor, or as the dominant 7th of C minor. The key of C minor may be strengthened by the addition of a D accidental, and while a move into that key may be desired, especially in a two-part setting, here I chose to remain in the tonic. For the remainder of the exposition, I treat the answer's accompaniment as a counter subject, which during the final answer entry moves into the key of C minor and includes two modifications to its contour a shift here of the counter subject's initial three notes to fit the underlying harmony, and an ascending sixth leap here to keep the contour above the lower part. As we saw during the first answer entry, the three notes moving chromatically are harmonized respectively as F minor's subdominant, major tonic, and submediant chords, with the latter two chords beginning a 1 6 2 5 1 progression in the tonic key. During the second subject entry, the equivalent three notes are harmonized as the minor dominant, major subdominant, and supertonic half diminished seventh chord in F minor. And during the final answer entry, the notes are now harmonized as the major subtonic, major subdominant 7th, and supertonic half diminished 7th chords in C minor. While I've presented this exposition without reference to instrumentation, a string orchestra or woodwind combination or any other combination of instruments with the relevant ranges could be used. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.